In this video, we're gonna talk about hormonal health and weight loss. Now, maybe you didn't know that hormonal health and weight loss were connected, or maybe you've been struggling with both. We're gonna give you several strategies and tips to support you in achieving hormonal health and weight loss in this video coming up. My name is Dr. Lisa Lewis. I'm a naturopathic doctor and I'm an acupuncturist, a wellness expert, and so many people come to me with hormonal health challenges or weight loss challenges. I think most are coming with both. The people say, I've, I've changed my diet, I've taken out everything I can possibly take out, I don't eat any more wheat, <laughs> I don't, no dairy. I eat vegetables all the time, I'm exercising like crazy, and I, I'm still gaining weight. Or they've done so amazing on their weight loss journey, and then all of a sudden they get to a certain weight, and it stops, their weight loss stops, they plateau. There's a huge connection between hormonal health and weight loss. Now the challenge is that, number one, most people don't recognize the two are connected. Most people think that they can just work their way, work out their way, you know, through, through weight loss, or they can starve themselves or change their diet through weight loss. But if your hormones are out of balance, it's going to be very difficult to lose weight. There's so many hormones that are connected to how your body is able to either lose weight or maintain a healthy weight. So let's talk about cortisol and that's your stress hormone. Now, if you live a moderately stressful life or you've had stress over time, you can expect that your cortisol will probably be out of balance. And as a matter of fact, if your cortisol is out of balance, then it's a guarantee almost that your thyroid hormones will be out of balance. So. You, it will usually show up as an accumulation of fat around the belly. And it can also contribute to like insulin resistance where you have either pre-diabetes or, or diabetic, diabetes or it's just a challenge with um, metabolizing and breaking down carbohydrates. And if, if you really are stressed out, you probably are doing some stress eating which means that you're craving carbs as well. So if you exercise too intensely, that can be another stressor. So that can also send your cortisol um, numbers through the roof. And if you've been stressed out for a long time, which we call chronic stress, then that will actually uh, cause something what we call adrenal fatigue. And they have several stages of adrenal fatigue. I talk about weight gain and cortisol in another video. So um, I hope that you to watch that video because we'll go into a lot of detail about specifically how cortisol uh, regulates and creates um, excess weight, especially around the midsection. <laughs> uh, but no, cortisol is another hugely important hormone for weight loss. So we've talked about the causes of hormone imbalance and weight gain. We talked about cortisol. All of these things can contribute to weight gain. So if you are running on that treadmill, <laughs> exercising like crazy, eating very little, <laughs> practically starving yourself for eating an amazing diet, and you're still gaining weight, or at least you can't lose weight, I encourage you to look at your hormones and, and get tested to understand what hormones are out of balance so that you can achieve your weight loss goals a lot faster. I have a nice gift for you, a free gift in the a description of information of how to balance your hormones. So I encourage you to download that and subscribe because we're going to have tons more videos about hormonal health coming in the future. So I look forward to being able to support you in balancing your hormones and with losing weight <laughs> easily, more efficiently. And, um, and I'll see you in the next video.